Hi, Pisces. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. It is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Um, I do encourage you to always watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign because there are energies that are greatly impacting you. You'd be surprised sometimes. So, um, for those of you who want a more in-depth reading and to continue the message with me, there's always an extended reading after this reading, and I hope that you will be able to join me. That link is in the description box right below this video. Um, oh God, for those of you who have not done so, Pisces, I ask you please to subscribe to the channel and then ring that bell so you can select all notifications so you know when I upload your favorite content. Pisces content comes out every single Wednesday between like 8 and 9 a.m. over on the West Coast, the USA, East Coast, that's around noon time, and then over in Western Europe that translates to about 6 p.m., but I hope everyone around the world can see this video and it comes to you at just the right time when you need it. Uh, for those of you looking for even more astrology and spiritual content, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation. I'll attach the link above. Um, you can find my weekly astrology forecast and daily tarot card readings over there, as well as pick a cards over there. Uh, and for those of you who want to join me for a live chat, come and follow me over on Instagram. You can find me at born underscore without underscore boundaries. Let's get into your reading, Pisces. All the readings this week have been surprising me, so I just, I doubt that yours will be any different. Let's let the surprises begin, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Um, this is a death or a loss or an illness or a sickness or an attack that you've had to suffer. Um, and this is you being able to move on from it. Um, interesting. And then we have something in between. Oh, uh, yeah. Holy shit. I don't like this energy. Like, make the sign of the cross. Protect yourself right now. This is definitely an attack. An attack on you by somebody who is not meant to do you well. Um, this could also be, in a sense, an attack on an addiction, an attack on something that you were addicted to or that was bringing you down, an attack against something or someone that was bringing you down. Are you okay? Or one of your behaviors that was bringing you down and finally being able to move on from that. Okay, so let's get into this. I need many more specifics. Um, please, 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 please. Um, this could also be a sense of any kind of trouble. If you're in a relationship with a Capricorn, any kind of trouble or struggle or um, issue that you were having with them, this is a sense of being able to move on from it. Um, the Knight of Wands is here. I think you're putting this, you're channeling this into passion, a passion project, focusing on, oh, somebody could have really messed you up. This is real fuckboy energy. Pisces. This is real fuckboy energy. Now, how does that translate? It could literally be a fuckboy. Um, or it could be, Pisces, that this was just transient energy, like a, a passing passion, or like there was an interest somebody had taken and it was distracting you. Um, something, something that could have been very distracting. Um, could have been fleeting, could have been moving on from that. This is, this is definitely a sense of maybe getting too caught up in and hurting something that you cared about or somebody did this to you. So I need more information, <laughs> much more information. Pisces. Um, much more information. Sorry, this could have been somebody from your past, somebody that you were longing for, thinking about somebody that really isn't going to get you anywhere. Um, um, longing for something that isn't going to get you anywhere. Okay. So none of this really makes sense to me yet, but I will figure it out. I promise you. Um, this is somebody who is very manipulative, could have been a manipulative mother, somebody who um, does not have your best interest at heart, somebody who is very exploitive, somebody who took more than they gave. And then we have the energy of uh, making your own way in the world. Um, trying to get over, I think, some, some this, this pain, this 
trying to get over this pain. This this is definitely like fourth house energy, but a draining fourth house energy. Um, there, there can be some contrast because this is it. This is like the uh, Cancerian energy, mother energy. There is some sense of really harsh treatment of you when you were a child and somehow trying to get over that, maybe using creativity to get over that or struggling to find your way out of that uh, repair those situations, repair those circumstances. You know how you repair them, right? You confront them. Like that's essentially what you have to do. Going out on your own, trying to make it in the world by yourself, um, find your way, maybe even becoming a little cold hearted, cutting yourself off a little bit from feeling, which is really difficult for a Piscean, but ultimately it kind of made you strive. This is the energy of pain that made you strive, that pushed you forward. Uh, pain that like suffering that almost like the, it was the devil nipping at your, like this pain, this sorrow, this loss was the devil nipping at your heels. That's kind of what happened. Now, I don't know if this just recently happened. This is kind of fourth house energy. So I'm picking up, excuse me, I'm picking up that this happened in your past, Pisces. So why is it coming up now? I don't know why it's coming up now, but there's definitely a sense of it's getting in your way now. There's something like you've, you've almost like reached a roadblock. You've reached a, um, in that you've, you've progressed all that you can progress on this fuel, using this as fuel. And now you've realized that it's actually causing a roadblock. It's not, it's not fuel anymore. You've got to change something uh, about this pain and this suffering or you've got to confront it because ultimately it's doing you more harm than good. Now, you used to be able to use it as a fuel source. It ain't happening like that anymore. The hermit is here. This is about healing. This is about cultivating and getting healthy, cultivating yourself. This is about um, being pedantic about your behavior and being predictable even. Primarily, it's about consistency, routine, and nurturing and healing and that actually healing you. Also taking time and taking space by yourself. This is coming up a little bit in the future, so it could be saying that you might need to do this. This sense of you... I'm, what am I hearing that you need to take distance at least from this person if this is a person that you thought of and you knew this happened and like all this you need to take some space from this person it's essential um, just saying and then we have uh, the three of cups so being around people that you really like people who celebrate you people who make you feel celebrated also a reason to rejoice this is um, and this is Sagittarius this is fucking Christmas I don't know what the fuck is going on, but this is almost saying like you need to take space before Christmas. You need to go within and you need to heal. This could be because you're going to be around family. You're going to be around um, or you're trying to heal a situation that regard it, that that regards a mother Um uh, something that, yeah that regards a mother. Maybe the mother was addicted to drugs or or I, I don't I don't know. This was, this was something that regarding, regarding family matters, you're trying to heal it. You're trying to clear it up. This is Christmas time. I can tell you that right now. I, I just look at the cards. It's like a gathering, a celebration, people that you love and care about you and temperance and, um, oh no, no, no. Cause Capricorn is, is actually when Christmas happens. Um, but it's almost like taking your time to try to make things work and figure things out and heal this situation. Why? Because you need to. Because there's something here that this situation needs to be healed in order to now move on. <sighs> Let's get into, I'm sorry about that Pisces. Let's get into, oh shit, this is a fucking deep reading. End of a tough cycle approaches. This is coming up in the past. So you stop this, whatever the hurt, whatever the initial pain and suffering was, you stop that pain and suffering. That's what it means, right? That's what it means. It's time to release negative energy. This is Scorpio. 
Okay. So ultimately, yeah, you kicked a habit or somebody kicked a habit or you thought somebody kicked a habit. You thought somebody kicked a nasty routines or doing something bad or somebody kicked something that was bad for them. You worked really fucking hard and you thought all this was over with. This is all, this is definitely about somebody confronting something negative like i said in the past that hurt them and finding a way to move on from it but did they ever really move on from it i, I did i do think i do think in some on some level at least on the terrestrial level you moved on from this but there's there's a an emotional gap here pisces so what why is this all coming up now for pisces please Fill in, fill in the gaps for me, please, Spirit. Why is this all coming up now for Pisces? Why is this all coming up now for Pisces? Um, because you're numbing. There's a numbness here. Emotional loss, right, is like emotional loss for me is there's a numbing. There's, it's like you don't feel what you used to feel and you don't like that. Or you've lost maybe the ability to feel to a certain degree, right? Now there's a new start. You have a new opportunity um, regard, with regards to maybe rebuilding your family again or rebuilding a family or moving on with happiness or being able to build this happiness and then there's power here. So you want to do it in a powerful way. You want, to, you want to do it as all of you. You want to own everything about you. This is also could be you're dealing with a Leo. But that's very specific, maybe for some of you. But you're trying to start this again. But ultimately, there's a sense of maybe feeling numb. Maybe not feeling as into it as you think you should feel. Um, I think... Like you're trying to take back your power from having to go numb, okay? And then we have transformation. So yeah, this is definitely a time when you are beginning again or beginning better, spreading your wings, becoming somebody different. So this is, you're trying to change the situation. You're trying to turn it into something that's that's better, that's good. Um, you're trying to use this for good. Patience and planning is here. And this is <clears throat> what I say. <clears throat> this is all Virgo energy. Um, maybe you're actually planning something. Like you're planning a get together and you don't know how. You could be planning a wedding. You could be planning something that's really big, right? And there's just this sense of you don't know how you're going to get all this done or make all of this work. Um, Pisces, because of this situation or this conflict or clash or complication, um, that, you know, you just, you have to be straightforward about something. I think you just have to confront it straight on. Being objective is a, is the most fair way to be, but ultimately it is. The Queen of Swords is here, and this, this, these cards are, like, uh, supporting each other. There's, like, emotional loss. You're cutting, or it's like, cut off your emotions and start over again from an objective perspective. And that'll help you get over this situation. But I think it kind of goes deeper than that, to be totally honest with you. I don't think you're just going to be able to get over the situation. How do they do this? How can Pisces move on? Oh, fill in the gaps for me. I asked you. This is loss of energy, a loss of control and loss of power. Also a loss of inspiration. But when Yang is upside down, it's not yin. It's just flattened. So something has made you lose... Um, okay, something has made you lose enthusiasm for something um go the distance yeah something stopped short you stopped this you nipped this fucking shit in the butt you didn't let it go all the way and maybe that was a good thing but in some way i don't know now you have this opportunity here this really happy event or happy gathering or like happy times in the wake of or it's bringing up all this energy of or you're going to have to see people that oh my god it's like you're planning a wedding or you're planning a big celebration or you're planning a big get together and in the process it's like thanksgiving dinner right it's like everything is drumming up this shit or you know you're going to have to face somebody or see somebody or talk about something or confront something or move on in order to move on for some for, for, for 
ugh, in order to move on from something. I hate when, like, the images in my fucking head are coming so fast, my words, like, my brain can't put it to words fast enough. That's what's happening right now, Pisces. That's 100% what's happening. So, this is actually very emotional for you. Let's, no, this is actually very emotional for you. Okay, help Pisces out. What the do they do? Intention, set an intention. Set an intention. What is your intention? Question your beliefs. Why, do, okay, okay. Set an intention. What is it you want out of this situation? What is what it what what do you want? What do you, what what is the end result that you actually want? Set that intention and then question your beliefs. Why do you believe what you believe? Why do you feel these things? So ultimately there's just this sense of almost like digging in and understanding how your behavior has been affected by your beliefs and how these beliefs have in some way gotten in your way. So ultimately it's like have, helping you to reset your intention, behave differently. You're, you're finding a way to behave differently so you're not stuck in some stupid karmic loop, right? Because you're starting to see that maybe the people who taught you these things were a bunch of bullshit or that they, they harmed you in some way or these beliefs came out of your own harm or not your own harm, the harm that you suffered. And ultimately that you've got to like intentionally be working on this so that's what i'm like asking for the way out how do you heal this this is counseling this is therapy this is behaviorism this is that like behavior intervention this is this is realizing that something in you or dealing with something in somebody else like an addiction saying oh if i do this i'm gonna get better and you're not getting better you're just making yourself sicker so i don't know what this fucking is very complicated, but it's it's really confronting the demon. It's it's confronting that which is is insidiously hurting you by pretending to be something that's helping you. And I feel like this is inside of you, not outside of you, but it could be. It like I said, especially it could be a mother figure. And that mother figure would be somebody who is overbearing, would be somebody who takes more than she gives would be somebody who constantly interrupts a situation, something like like that, um, a relationship. And yeah, it could be with the other parent too, certainly. Um, can you give me more information about the healing process for Pisces? Um, purification and detoxification is necessary. Once again, this is coming up. And then we have mood. So this could be... <coughs> deciding to get sober. This could definitely be uh, sobering up and it could be sobering up literally or it could be sobering up helping somebody else or it could be sobering up um, um, in terms of your emotion. Moonstone, heightened intuition, be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. Okay. And then you're, but you're questioning your beliefs. So that those two conflict. And maybe that's the point. There's a conflict here between intuitively, you know, something, but you're questioning what you know. And why are you questioning what you know? Is it hurting you? Is it not working out for you? Do you see yourself repeating bad patterns? Like, why are you questioning it? Or are you questioning it because of lack of self-esteem or lack of self-care or lack of a sense of self-worth? If you're questioning it for those reasons, then you're questioning it for the wrong reasons, right? Okay. Purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. That includes any overbearing mother figure, right? That includes anybody who is domineering. That includes anybody who, um, or any, okay, this person may be actually talking to you about some sort of, um, like coming to you and saying, hey, I can't take your drinking anymore, right? It's scaring me. It's worrying me that kind of thing or it could be you having a conversation like that with somebody else but there is definitely worry here about somebody doing the wrong thing for what they think is the right reasons okay and then we have 
<clears throat> unanswered prayer. I'm sorry, answered prayers. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. So it's time, Pisces. Get on your knees and pray. That's what this is for. This is this is prayer time. Um, pray, 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 pray. And I think that you have been. I think you've been praying for strength. That's really interesting. Oh, this is the, these are the cards that I wanted to do. Um, Pisces. Pisces. Let's go over into the extended reading. Uh, this is a good time to pause. And I hope you guys can join me. If you can't, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your view right now, spending this time with me. Um, um, the link is below if you want to join me for the extended. The two cards that I got were Water Guardian, Connect with Your Emotions. So there's definitely been some sort of emotional distance here, and now you're finally able to reconnect to them. And then Oracle, Wait for Important Information. I'm about to get you important information. So um, I hope you can come on over with me. Remember to like this video and share it on your social media platforms. I will see you guys soon.